Hi guys, welcome into another edition of The Complete Angler. I'm Joe Long. And I'm JC Brooks. Today we're going to talk about... I'm going to guess frogs. Frogs. Now one thing we have on the table that's not a frog, and we're going to show you, is our jitterbugs. And why do we have jitterbugs with frogs, you might ask? Well, take a look at the back of these. Very similar to a frog design. They, they're they made to mimic a frog in many ways, so I thought it was relevant to put them out there. There's a few different varieties here. Um, the other things I want to talk about, one of my first lures, or baits, or whatever you want to call it, when I was a little, little kid, not quite this small, but <laughs> a little bigger, my grandpa wanted me to be a fisherman. And he bought me I'm going to give it to you. Grab it by the hook and show the folks at home. You can get a little closer than I can. Can you see that? <laughs> no. That's one of the first baits I ever had. A little frog. I remember I caught a bass with that little guy. And that's a very, very special uh, bait to me. And now it is retired and it has a... Uh, a, a nice place where I look back at that and have uh, good memories of my grandfather and, and our fishing uh, adventures, which is a lot of what we're about here. So let's go into the frogs. First of all, we have frogs with legs. Them some crazy legs, aren't they? And then we got frogs. I'm guessing with tails, kind of. Yeah, they're skirts, or skirts, skirts. Yeah, skirt material. That's one style. This is another style. And then there's this. And this is the Joe Long adding of grubs to make it look like tails. And they're not even the same color. But I, I like to use that. I have a weight on that one. I like to fish frogs deep sometimes. Crazy idea, right? No one does that. We do. So, JC, any questions of frogs? What do you think we're going after when we're throwing frogs? What species of fish are we aiming for? Bass. The largemouth bass. So, where do we fish for bass? Ponds. Ponds. Ponds or back bays and lakes as hot spots for... Uh, Shallow, warm water. Shallow warm water, not right now. Not right now. That's that's an <laughs> impossibility. It's like twenty. It's like ten degrees out. So, but like in summertime, when the fish are up and active, they're in the warm bays. What's in the warm bays? Food and lily pads. Oh, lily pads. My bad. Okay. What jumps <laughs> on lily pads? Frogs. Frogs. So, we're gonna cast these frogs out. This is one of my little fa my favorites. It's a very small, it's a weighted version. Mm -hmm. So it's going to set a little bit out of the water. And if you ever see in a frog, lots of times they're in the water this much. And the head's sticking out looking at you. You ever see that when mm -hmm. you're fishing? So that's kind of what it's made to uh, do. It's got a lot of skirt on here. So that's kind of looking like legs uh, moving through the water. Um, when a bass explodes on your frog it's a sight for sore eyes yeah it is quite an action and it gets your heart racing a little adrenaline kind of like when i caught that big bass i literally thought he fell in the water or he died one of the two i was pretty excited when when you get a big bass to jump and put the smack down on your frog it's gonna get your juices going if not you don't gotta pause so, what colors do frogs come in? Camo, I'm guessing. Camo. And what does camo represent? You're an army type of guy. You like army and stuff like that. Go Navy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Go Navy. <laughs> He's got camo on. It might be Navy camo. Alright. They're trying to blend into nature. Camouflage, blend into nature, get it, right. or try, literally hide in plain sight. So this frog is camo on the back, white on the bottom. A lot of frogs have those type of colorations. We have a lighter chartreuse with dark green backs, white bottoms, almost all of these. That's got a green bottom. 
Most of these are white. Now, this is the anomaly. This is the... Where did they come up with this? Right? You ever see a red drum? I personally haven't. Me neither. But it's kind of neat looking. So it's a little bit different. One of my favorites is this guy. And this is, I think it's called the Scum Boss. Beautiful name for a little. And I believe this is its brother. I think they came in a two-pack. They look like the same deal. This is one of my favorite colors. Um, basically, I added a couple grub tails to it. But it's a real nice color. See all the fleck in there? Mm -hmm. I mean, a really attractive frog. This one here is very lifelike. Even has little poppy eyes on it. So, basically, there's not a lot to say about frogs, but they're a huge part of what we do. Uh, summertime bass fishing. Pull out a frog and throw it, right? We do every time. So, anything you have to... Question. Mm -hmm. Why? Why red? That's what I said. I don't really know why it's red. It came in a three-pack with this watermelon-looking one and this chartreuse. And they come with a, a red one. Weighted and stuff. Mm -hmm. Kind of puffy out. Or eyes popped out. But pretty much we we don't have the slightest clue why it's red. If you guys do. Yeah, leave us a comment. Why do they make a red frog? We'll probably be looking it up. But save us a little bit of time and effort by uh, maybe telling us. Either way. Mainly with frogs, there's... If you don't, the worst thing that can happen is this, you cause a disturbance in the water, pretty much. You're going to stir the fish up. Mm -hmm. uh, if you, you don't catch anything, that's fine. I mean, yes, it's not the funnest thing, but you're just, you're just getting started, pretty much. That's whenever you're going to go a little deeper. I mean, that's going to let flatten fish know there's something on the top. If there is something on the top, you're darn right. They're going to swallow it, but... Yeah, but I like to throw them back in the... Like where a channel comes into a pond, where a little stream or, or brook comes into a pond. Um, back in the junk, I like to throw these things. They sit on the top of the water, and, uh, you know, they're just a real good, all you know, all summer long lure. Um, I, I love frogs. I've got a lot of big bass on frogs. Sometimes you gotta have pretty stout, you know, like a seven foot rod, medium heavy at least, and you gotta have probably 15, 20 pound test line, and uh, I like to use the fire line. That'll bring them out of the lily pads, the weeds, the muck, and the mire. Um, a lot of ponds we fish, they've got, you know, moss and, and mm -hmm. you know. See, that's, that's another thing I kinda was thinking about was the moths and stuff like that I mean with the frogs I mean I think if you have if it's almost completely covered wouldn't these be probably the best for that I mean uh, jitterbugs yeah you want if you have like uh, some kind of cover on it um, these are nice just to drag across the top because fish are going to see that. They're going to, you know, know something's up. And uh, they're going to jump on them. That's, it's, it's a good all-around bait. We, we fish a lot of frogs, as you can see. And we have more coming. So, stay tuned. We're going to have some unboxings. Hopefully. Um, hopefully. hopefully. Yeah, they're, <laughs> they're coming. They've been coming for a while. So, um, anything else? Like like I asked before, if you know about the red frog, please tell us. We we really want to know. And also We're remember you. remember to remember to like and subscribe. Leave, leave a us, comment. I couldn't say it better. All right, thank you, sir. Awesome show. And you guys, we appreciate your time and your input. That's what this channel is all about. So thank you very much. Bye bye.